Welcome back everybody. What a difference today is. Yesterday got to 39 was the max that we got out here. And today, it's actually meant to be a max of 30 today, but I don't know if it's gonna get there. We woke up, it was all foggy and all that, but uh, Henry's headed off. He's out to uh, go and pick some rocks. So uh, yeah, he's gonna go and do that with Manny. And uh, I've got all this stuff to clean up and sort out. One thing I thought I'd show you guys, now this is uh, from Movember. Uh, obviously you guys were amazing with the amount of money that you raised and you know supported. Uh, Fifteen and a half thousand dollars is what we, uh, what the end total was. Now uh, because we did that total they sent us uh, three shirts for the three people, no, Dexter wants to eat the flag. Um, they sent us three shirts for, uh, for the, you know, myself, Henry and George. And then they also sent us this, so we've got a nice, uh, Nice giant flag, the Movember generation. If you can read that, I'm sure you can. So uh, it's only, uh, it's a one-sided flag. And it's uh, a flag that's got, um, it just comes with, uh, you know, it's for decoration, not for flying. So, I think we got a, we got a hang on the wall somewhere. So we've got to decide where we're going to put that. We might try and mount that today. I'm going to do Starlink today, so Starlink, I think I might put on the top of the bar and grill. It doesn't need to be on, you know, up high because there's no Yagi on it, so it doesn't matter. Um, so, that'll go on the bar and grill. So I'll take down the Optus, which is uh, that box up there. And I reckon we'll have a go at hanging this just above, well, just there, maybe off that rail up there. And then uh, I also might see if I can try and put some... Uh, some wire or something up there to stop birds because sometimes, well, as you can see, the birds do like to go up there. So, uh, yeah, may, I don't know. We might put it there, we might put it over there. We'll see. But, uh, yeah, I've got to first, I've got to pack away my camping gear. I've just got, uh, that's all just going to go to the caravan. I just uh, forgot to put that in the caravan uh, when I parked it away on the weekend. Oh, Dexter, don't need that. Uh, I've got to pack away the, uh, the, the mat thing, what do you call those things? They're like, it's for compliance when you're driving down the road with a tray, you know, stop things from falling out. Uh, I've got to open up this tarp and clean it out because the tarp, uh, we had a fair bit of rain when we were camping. So the tarp uh, got, you know, it's got mud and dirt on it. So I've got to give that a sweep. Then uh, we might mount the old Starlink and then we're going to come in here and I reckon we're gonna have a very good go at cleaning up this uh, this workspace. And then I'll uh, measure up and see what we do with all this and how we're gonna fit our, our toolbox in, you know, tidying up all this sort of stuff. Well, you know, yeah, we'll, uh, we'll make a start on, on, on getting the workshop back up, to, uh, back up to spec. I forgot to tell you guys about two other jobs that we're gonna do this year as well. Um, I only remember when I was chucking the water container back into mum and dad's caravan. So, what have we got? That's our canola and I think this is our wheat. Yeah. So, one thing we're gonna do before seeding is we've gotta uh, got crack this wheat and then we need to treat it. And we treat it with, uh, again, a, a, I'm pretty sure it's fipronil that we treat it with and also canola oil. Canola oil is what the uh, sliders are attracted to, so this is uh, slider baits. We spread it on uh, canola country, so where we seed canola, we will spread this so that uh, so that the, the damn sliders will die instead of eating our canola. Um, so yeah, we're going to do that before seeding. And then the other job that we uh, will be doing, the terminators. So <clears throat> I have. Uh, traded in these terminators on both headers. Uh, so, uh, terminator, seed terminator, they really want to uh, get the old ones uh, off the machines because you know they're they're old. Uh, I think we're the last ones in estimates that were out of the first lot to get them to still have the old ones. Um, so yeah, we we've swapped them out. So we're going to the new the new terminators. Uh, so yeah, that'll be exciting, that'll be good. Um, excited to see, yeah, 
the difference that it's going to make to the machine. Uh, it should be hopefully uh, the chopper will be down lower. Uh, everything should be a lot neater and tidier. It should be a lot easier for us to get into uh, into the machine to check things. Uh, the belt drive underneath uh, is also different. So these ones here, uh, there's two belts, one one belt drives each uh, each mill, and in the new one, uh, it's one big belt drives the whole lot, and that's apparently going to be better for uh, power, and yeah, you're less likely to block a mill up. So uh, at some point this year, we'll be doing that. So I've uh, built myself a fort behind me. <laughs> that tarp is, uh, is drying out, it's a bit wet, so that'll dry out. So this is the, uh, you know, the safety net that is for the back of a uh, single cab. We do have one over here that we bought ages ago when the regulations came in. Now that one there is for a dual cab. Now, they come in these tiny little bags. I don't know how they expect you to fold them back up to, uh, to get back in there, because uh, that one there, all the straps hang out. Like you can see, I've got all the straps just there. Ah, folding, not my forte. So uh, let's see if I can uh, make it fit. It's in the bag. That's all that counts, right? I think it went, went quite well, better than the, uh, the other one there. So chuck that there. I'm nearly done all this to uh, then start on uh, doing maybe some starling. I've tidied up all my uh, stuff now. Now I'm just trying to decide where I'm gonna do starling. I think I'll chuck it on this roof. This is the bar and grill, obviously. And then I just drill a hole through and then probably have it sitting over there. Um, not here because there's only one plug there and I want to replace these cabinets because they're all old and falling apart and don't look very nice. So um, I was thinking over there, but we have had signal boosters and Wi-Fi before and it just sometimes it doesn't reach. You know, I want to be able to access uh, Wi-Fi while sitting in there and also in the shed. So what I might do is I might actually I got a plug, I got a plug just there. So I might might put the uh, plug the Starlink in, just have it sitting out here, and then test it if it's going to work in the shed, or if it's going to work. Um, well, you know, where's it best going to work? So I might actually just plug it in because you know the Starlink cord's long enough. Might actually just plug it in over here against the drills and uh, run run that out and. Yeah, we'll see how our Wi-Fi goes. Right, unplug that, plug that in. Starlink should now be plugged in and then satellite should be doing its funky thing once it's all, uh, all ready to roll. Well, it took nearly uh, five minutes for it to uh, finally get all its signal and acquire itself and 
um, get itself sorted. But it's working, it's plugged in, it's uh, shooting around. So I guess the only thing to do is just to walk where I want to see where I've you know, got Wi-Fi and uh, test it. So um, let's do that, shall we? Go into here and we'll start watching a video, shall we? We'll watch a... Uh, that, run, see grading. Oh. Now I believe this video comes out uh, after Christmas. So there we go. Merry Christmas, everyone. So I've got Wi-Fi in here, but well, we've had Wi-Fi signal bursts and they're just shocking. They can't get through the, the steel. Um, so that's good. Uh, I wonder how long it reaches, because uh, Obviously, I'd like to put, once I get the fuel fuel uh, bowsers over to here, I'd like to have the security camera over here on them. Now, I'll probably you know, do it POE with you know security cameras. Um, but if the Wi-Fi reaches far enough, then you know you can have a, uh, uh, what's I'm gonna call it? A Wi-Fi camera. So, uh, we'll walk over here and we'll see how much signal we got. Still got Wi-Fi, which is nice. Actually, I should do the, you know, if if you've got Starlink, you know, you can do the Wi-Fi map and you can walk around and see how far you've uh, got signal. But no, that seems to be working. Teaching you how a C grader works. Oh, I'm full of uh, full of knowledge. <laughs> right. Okay. Well. I reckon that solved my issue, but now uh, it can't go on the barn grills roof because we'll have a cord just hanging down and we can't have that. So it's going to have to go on top of uh, this roof here. And I obviously can't reach that, so we'll need to do that with the cage and Henry when uh, I get Henry back to the shed. So I guess for the time being, I'll just leave it there. And. Um, yeah, we'll secure it down when uh, Henry, well, probably after lunch, do it after lunch. All right. Let's go view results. Yeah, not bad. It's uh, time to shop for a mesh, which is, uh, you know, just a Wi-Fi extension. It's just another one of the routers there that you put somewhere else to just boost your signal. I've got one in my house. Henry's got one in his. But, uh, yeah, we don't need that. So that's the map of the... The shed and then that's the bar and grill wash down pad and then that's out where the uh, fuel bowsers are going to go so all in all not too bad so it's been a while since uh i've come down and seen the new house and i think it's been a while since i've shown you guys the uh the new house build so i figured i'd come down and uh yeah we'll go for a quick drive through <laughs> god i hope we don't drive through the house <laughs> a quick walk through the house and uh show you guys what's changed and uh yeah we're getting close uh and i've also can see there's quite a bit of rubbish that's um blown out and it's out there so might go and pick all that stuff up and then uh yeah show you guys the house so first of all i apologize about the wind it is a bit windy uh so if you're getting wind noise my bad uh and i also can't remember how much i've uh you know shown you guys just you know during harvest was a bit busy and there's a lot of people down here doing work so yeah, well, we'll start with, you guys obviously know the tank, the tank's there, uh, all the down pipes are all hooked up to that as well, so the pipes actually, uh, you know, rain, when it rains, is going into that. Um, the house was washed, so the acid wash or whatever they do, they came and did that, so the bricks all look fantastic. Uh, you can obviously see we've got the solar up there uh, on top, so the solar's actually live at the moment. Uh, and there's one plug that's live for that. So we'll go over there and I'll show you that. Uh, we've got, you know, this extra house. So where I am now, I'm, uh, I'm in the pool, I'm in the swimming pool, which will go in in February. So this here is our pool house. So that's actually gonna be, um, gonna be a gym. So yeah, we've currently got a gym down at our house now and a transportable, so that's gonna be a gym for us in there. Now at the back here, we've got our Power room, I think, there we go, you can see now. Right, so, you've got, uh, got our inverters, uh, that's the big controller, and then those are the batteries. So uh, they're just suitcase batteries. Uh, and then uh, here we've got our, 
a generator. Uh, I believe this is a 12 kilowatt. I can't actually remember. It's either 12 or 14 kilowatt generator. Uh, so yeah, it's pretty cool. We've then got over here, we've got pipes. So that's actually for the pool. This is the, the, the pool pump. We'll be going here. And then on the outside, the heater for the pool will be outside because that can't be inside. Uh, what have we got? So yeah, this was uh, all, the guys did this very quickly. Um, so yeah, that was yeah awesome to see. And uh, it's cool to have solar. We can't wait to be uh, off grid. Uh, there's gonna be a big learning curve with living off grid. But at the moment, you know, with all the power outages and things we're getting, um, yeah, it's just a pain in the ass. Uh, like when we had the fires, we had the power out. Um, you yeah, know, got home from the fire, we couldn't have a shower. Uh, we actually had to come down here and grab a generator at 9.30 at night to take back. So we could actually run the water and the heater. So yeah, that, that was a pain in the ass. Whereas like this, we'll be off grid. We should, uh, we should never have an issue. But it is gonna be a learning curve for us because uh, we've got things like the pool pump, the pool heater, uh, the air con, you know, TVs, the lights, you know, all that sort of stuff will be <coughs> operating and we will eventually find where our limit is of, you know, what's going to trip the system. So, you know, obviously if you draw too much power, it's going to trip it. So, uh, yeah, we'll obviously figure that out as we go along. Now, uh, that here, this is the only switch that is, uh, that is live at the moment. Obviously the power isn't hooked up to the house. That won't happen until uh, the final stages because if we open our fuse box on the house you'll see yeah it's just that at the moment so it's um it's nothing to uh there's no power to the house so eventually that'll all get done um yeah so the electrician's been he's done some uh some switches and i think when we go inside we will see that there is uh, all the holes and everything for our downlights. Oh, there you go. We've got uh, holes in our outdoor area just here. So that's all ready to uh, have downlights go in. So that's exciting. So uh, yeah, we'll go in the house. I'll show you that. So on the inside, it's uh, echoey at the moment, but uh, it's all, yeah, you can see it's all done. Well, not done, but... Um, yeah, so we've got the, uh, all the down lights are, are ready to be installed. We've got our uh, double-sided fireplace, which is uh, gonna be very nice in there. And if we come over here, uh, this is where the dining room, dining table and all that will be. This is all the kitchen, everything in there. Um, Fridge and freezer will be there. Now what I'm very excited about, that little spot there, that's my bar. So I'm very excited for that. So we'll go down the, uh, the east wing. So if we come in here, this will be our office. So we've already got uh, Starlink and a two-way aerial all there ready to roll for that. And here is the, uh, is the home theatre. So again, very, very excited to have that. Uh, and then down here is just obviously the garage. When we come in here, we've got our, uh, our, our master bedroom with all our switches ready to go. So here's hers cupboard. And then um, here's hers sink, bath, toilet. And then around the back here is a shower. So that's all ready to roll in there. So that's very exciting. Um, they think Easter, well, that's, that's what we've been saying and that's what they've been agreeing to that we'll be in. So, what are you doing, dog? We're hoping that it's Easter that we get in, so. Fingers crossed, everybody, that that happens. Now, if we come into the West Wing, this is the children's wing. We've got a wrap bag number one. Uh, that's the laundry. Uh, this is the kids' TV area. So, TV and couch in there somewhere, toys. Uh, toilet, cupboard. This is the kids bathroom. So that's all, again, ready to roll, very exciting. And uh, if we come down here, we've got uh, wrap bag number two's bedroom in here. And then, you know when you don't realize on plans, because you know you just don't realize 
with sizes and all that. And then uh, it happens. And you have the world's biggest guest bedroom. So <laughs> it's, it's a very large guest bedroom, but uh, yeah, anyway, that's what happened. We could have had more space for the bathroom or the laundry, but oh well, that's happened. So yeah, that's the house. We're very excited, obviously, and we can't wait to, uh, you know, to move in. But yeah, fingers crossed for, uh, for Easter. So here's hope. Well, now back at the shed, back to work. <laughs> let's, uh, let's go ahead and pull down this uh, Optus because uh, well, we don't need it anymore. And then I can get this extension cord and chuck it back up in our extension cord pile. So, all it was was a, a box with protection on top to stop all the birds from crapping on it. And uh, yeah, it's as simple as that. So, this internet won't go to waste. It'll be, uh, I'll put it in storage. And uh, what we'll use it for is uh, when the workers' quarters, my, my house becomes the new workers' quarters, uh, we'll throw this internet down there so they've got something down there. Um, so, yeah, that won't be for a while so yeah you know, it just depends on when they can get us into that house so again fingers crossed for uh for easter but yeah let's see what happens so just a small job i need to do to my ute i um a few people do ask who did i uh buy the tray through now normally you'd be able to tell because they put their mud flaps down there obviously uh, as advertising but when, uh, when I bought the tray, well, it was back when I bought the, new, the ute and got the tray put on, uh, they didn't have any. Um, they were out of stock for like months. So uh, I finally went and bought some. So Wicked Welding and Esperance is who uh, I got the tray through. Um, so I'm gonna replace them. Hopefully they're better than these ones because you can just see that these ones have been annihilated. So I wanna, <laughs> I figured I've got them now. I might as well change them, put them on. Um, so yeah, now, uh, the tray, if anyone's interested, Wicked Welding and Esperance did it. Uh, they installed the, well I, I bought the air compressor um, and then they installed it in there for me. And like I've said before, it's got uh, the, well, it's got water. So there's water on there as well. Uh, that pipe, headboard pipe, it's actually an air tank. So this here is, a, uh, is, is an air tank and then I've got my, uh, my fitting just down there uh, and then they custom make the uh, the doors down there you get the sliding door at the back as well which uh, you know, is always nice that's where I store all my all my tools so uh, yeah anyway so. I need some tools now I could use the tools on my uh, on my ute or I could drag over the brand new toolbox and do it that way. So that's what I'm gonna do. Lost something. Bit of overkill, but I just wanted to be able to bring my new toolbox over <laughs> and use it. Right. That ain't me. And 13 mil. So lucky I have got spanners and sockets. Oh, I mean I had them in the old toolbox as well, but they just weren't in the right spots. So, you know, luxury. Now doesn't that look much better? That one compared to uh, to that one over there. Well, that's about got me to lunch. So uh, what we're going to do is uh, head down Henry's picking rocks now in, uh, in Rushane. Uh, we need to use the telehandler to uh, throw a round roll to the big horses. So we'll, uh, we'll see how we go with that bucket. Should be no worries. Just roll it in there, pick it up, throw it in. Uh, so we'll go do that now. And then when we come back after lunch, I'll get Henry to meet me here. And we'll try mounting the Starlink up on the roof. See how that goes. And then uh, I can fold away this tarp here because it'll be dry. And then 
start on that mess in there, get that all nice and clean. It's all right, the horses won't get out. Here, you want to film? Yeah. You just point and shoot. They're very hungry. <laughs> That'll do if you want to go down there. <laughs> so I don't. <laughs> Make sure you hold the camera steady. It doesn't disappear down the hill. Yeah, it'll be alright. Just crowd out. Stay there. Right, horses are fed. They're uh, they're happy. So happy horses equals happy wife. Happy wife equals happy life. So <laughs> that's all sorted. We're gonna have to probably sort out some hay later on in the year though, because we um yeah we haven't had any rain yet. Uh, it is only middle of January, but uh, the paddocks aren't haven't got anything in them, so there's nothing for them to eat. So we might need to go on pinch some more off Tom later on but yeah hopefully we can get a nice summer rain about 80 mils would be just perfect but yeah anyway all right time to uh jump up and mount this starling and then we're gonna feed the cord in all nice and neat get it all uh set up and then we can uh leave it all up there and I'll uh start to organize some um some security like proper security cameras even I might might leave these on to do those do it when we uh Move the bin, uh, the uh, fuel valves. Right, so we've got the uh, the cord obviously in and everything. We're just trying to decide where to put it. Putting it over here, it's uh, protected by you know falling stuff, but. It's uh, with all the drills and everything. So I'm thinking that we might just go off our plug just here and pop it up the top there. Um, and then we can just bring it down from the, uh, from the roof there, away from the chimney. Not that we ever really use this, but that way, you know, it won't get hot. So we're maybe gonna, going to reuse the box that I made for the, uh, for the Optus. Just make this dodgily somehow fit a styling unit in there and go from there. I'll be interested to see how this goes because I faced it the other way. I'm assuming the Wi-Fi should work. Surely. You know, going yeah. 360, but... Uh, can you lift me back up, please? All right, so I'm not sure if you saw it or not because the, uh, the thing was... The microphone was dangling, I didn't realise. Uh, but what we've done is I've had to turn the, the Wi-Fi unit uh, the other way around. So instead of it facing out like this, facing back because the cord isn't long enough to fit up that way so yeah I guess we just I mean it shouldn't affect the Wi-Fi you to think you know going uh, it should be 360 because it was working that way going into the uh, the what's it called the barn grill so uh, yeah we'll just see if uh, once it's all rebooted up because uh, yeah it's on a bit of an angle we'll see what that looks like up there and hopefully it's um yeah, going to be all sorted, but yeah, it's still facing the wrong way at the moment. As you can see, it's got to go back that way, so I'll report back. Well, the Wi-Fi is playing silly buggers. It's, uh, it's not, like you saw the video this morning, how the 
you know, did all its rotating thing, got itself all rotated, and that's how it finds out where it should, you know, needs to be. This one, it's been now about half an hour, 40 minutes, and it's still facing the same way. So I'm not sure, you know, Henry and I are not really sure why it's doing that. Um, because it should just, you know, turn, you know, it turns around as he saw and it gets its orientation and then, um, you know, tracks the satellites. At the moment, it's flicking between online and obstruction, so not sure. I didn't touch anything or, you know, force anything on that satellite when I was putting it up there, but if it's like that tomorrow, I'll just turn it off and then turn it back on, see if that works. So anyway, Henry's off to go and do um, some more rock picking. So I am going to start on uh, cleaning up this workbench. So get it back to uh, square one. Then, like I want to remove that one out of here, those ones out of here. I don't know what we do with them. Yeah, we've still got stuff in there. Um, that's some rubbish stuff. But we've still got obviously stuff some sockets and all that. I don't know if we just chuck them in boxes. <laughs> but we've ended up with, you know, we, we do end up with collections of sockets. So, yeah, I don't know. I don't know. Do you want it? Someone want it? Someone want secondhand stuff? Let me know in the comments. You can have it. And, uh, you know, a couple cartons of beer for the, uh, what was that called again? The, uh, what's, uh, words today just escaped me. Tap and die set. Anyway, right, uh, let's get to cleaning. So I got a bit distracted. <laughs> I, um, well, first of all, I cleaned the town, like the, uh, the whiteboard over there. Uh, that took a little bit, because uh, I've got a, uh, a list of things that I want to purchase from town. Uh, for example, we need a new soldering iron, we need a new snatch strap, uh, cabinets and stuff like that. Uh, anyway, whilst I was doing that, I then uh, checked the Wi-Fi and the Wi-Fi, I rebooted the Starlink and it's working now. It's not working to its full capacity, it's now sort of like level and it's telling me that the, uh, the Wi-Fi, uh, sorry, the, the motor is jammed or something's obstructing the motor, which is not true, something isn't obstructing the motor. Uh, so. That then got me to uh, thinking, well, the Wi-Fi is working, so then I was like, well, I've got to go and uh, sort out my security cameras because they're now not on the network because I've got rid of the Optus now. So I've, uh, I've got one of them. I've brought that one in. So I've just finished connecting it. And uh, as you can see, there's Dexter just having a little sleep down there. So, uh, yeah, we'll, uh, we'll get this all sorted. I'll... Um, Go and get the other one now and set that one up and then uh after that i'm procrastinating it's a it's a it's a it's a crap job to clean the workbench it needs doing but uh i'm, I'm procrastinating is it clean no <laughs> i uh i got the bench in piles you know that's rubbish loft um yeah, I'm getting there slowly. I've uh, got a bit sidetracked, phone calls and uh, yeah, stuff about this um, this new fire truck that I'm wanting. So also working out how I'm going to operate. You know, if we get it, what's you know the go the the game plan with uh, you know the pump and everything like that. So just been doing a bit of that, shooting a few emails off, stuff like that. So I will get back to doing this, but uh, yeah, I reckon I'll. We'll leave it there for uh, for the video for today. So yeah, thank you everyone for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. And uh, I do promise that the videos will get more uh, exciting as the uh, as the year goes on. It's obviously our slow period, so you know not a huge amount is happening at the moment. Uh, if we had the gypsum going, would be uh, spending gypsum, but we don't. Um, but yeah, we might have uh, an adventure to go over to the other side of Australia to pick up a truck. Uh, very shortly maybe so that will be uh that'll be very exciting so anyway i'll catch you guys in the next one